All right, that's our 15 minute timer. We're gonna go ahead and unplug the pump, turn it on for next time. And we're now done with our wine. So I'm gonna unplug here, make sure not to tip it over. And that one is not needed anymore. Now we have our reaction here. So this should be more acidic than before because we've been forming uh, sulfuric acid as the SO2 was driven off and mixed with uh, the uh, peroxide, hydrogen peroxide. And we can see here the pH meter is confirming that we are down to 4.37. So the instructions says to then just pull up some, um, uh, what was it again? Hold on. So the instructions now say to just pour in, pull up some uh, sodium hydroxide in a pipette and put it in there. However, I like to have this set up instead over here where you can slowly add it in. And by just spinning around here, you inject a little bit at a time. So what you do is you note your starting point and your ending point, And we're gonna multiply that by 16 to find out how many parts per million of free SO2 we have in our solution. So something that makes it super easy is to put this on a stir plate, a mini stir plate. But we're essentially just trying to get this pH up to, um, to five again. And we're trying to figure out how much of this solution is needed to make that happen. So I started at 13.2. Okay, we're getting very close. We're at 4.9 now. That's it. Then the quicker you spin it around, the less you put in. All right, so let's see here, that's a five right there. And we went down from 13, I think it was 13.1. We're down to, uh, we used up a total of 0.6. So this, this wine, this Trader Joe wine does not have a whole lot of SO2 in it. That's not very shocking. We'll pull up a calculator. So 0.6 times 16, come on computer. 0.6 times 16. It only has 9.6 parts of free SO2 to it. From there you decide if you're going to add something to it to get more SO2 and that's a different video. Okay, that's it for now. Cheers!